What's up? What's up, sign YouTube? Welcome to the channel. My name is Angie, and in this video, we're going to talk about the weekend. So, happy Father's Day to all of you fathers out there or fathers to be. Father's Day weekend. So, this is for June 19th and 20th, 2021. Let's hop into it. We're going to pull some celebration cards first. So, celebration. Give me a card for Saturday, please. Saturday, June 19th. What is the card for Saturday, June 19th? For those of you that are watching this video. Saturday, June 19th. What is the card? Oh, we've got one. Oh, fear. I don't like that. No fear. No fear here. What are we scared about? Scared about seeing our dad? Family shit? Oh, boy. All right. Saturday. Fears might be coming up. We're going to get down to the uh, nitty gritty of this, okay? Sunday, Father's Day. Sunday on the 20th, June 20th, 2021. What is the card? Okay, this one is in my hand. Oh, work. Interesting. So, work. Um, I almost feel like when it comes to work, I don't necessarily feel like this is physical work. I feel like this is work to have a conversation with your dad, work to um, work that relationship out. Maybe it's it's a lot of work to just um, talk to him. Maybe the relationship is not, you know, um, easy, you know? Not everyone, not everyone in the world has a great relationship with their father. So I feel like there's a potential, even aside from, aside from Father's Day, you know, maybe there is some work that is involved if you're getting work done, work ideas, maybe work calls you, unfortunately. Very interested about this fear though. Fear, what are we scared of? What are we running away from? You know, what are we afraid of? There's some sort of fear, fear of something possibly coming up on Saturday. Now this is a general reading. Take what resonates, excuse me, and leave the rest, okay? And I'm going to pull um, a tarot card. So what is this fear about? Please give me more information. Please give me more information about this fear for Saturday. Please give me more information. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, fear of happiness. Fear of happy family. Temperance. Okay. So, oh my gosh. Wow. Um, this is interesting for Saturday. So, you know, Saturday really, the, these are some of the most amazing, beautiful, happiest cards in all of the tarot deck. Okay. So this card to me really represents, um, domestic, uh, re partnerships, domestic relationships. This could actually represent, um, marriage card, although there are a couple of cards that could represent marriage, but this is like happiness. Okay. This is happiness. This is contentment. This is really feeling some freedom. Okay. So there, maybe there's a potential here that you are like, holy shit, maybe I met somebody and I am like scared out of my mind that this is sort of, you know, this person, or maybe you're getting married and you're like, oh my God, am I making the right decision? You know? I've got the 10 here. This this is the happy family card. This is emotional fulfillment um you know to its highest degree. Okay? So really there are so many happy cards here. So it's it's almost like breaking down a fear, breaking down this fear. What is this fear? Is it is it fear of, you know, happiness? Like or are you not happy? Is this fear or worry or um Wow, it just that kind of blows my mind here that we have the fear card with these amazing, 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 beautiful cards here. So the temperance, the temperance is all about doing things in moderation. It's about being grounded. It's about, um, you know, like an emotional or spiritual or mental new awareness. It's sort of being like, you know, having a new sense of alignment, okay? Because this card follows, no, that's a lie. Never mind. I don't know why I'm thinking this is the star card. Um, this is temperance. Temperance is all about, it is about moderation. Though. It's about everything that I said it was. Um, but this is also like balance. This is balance in the sense of balance is a life's work and not just something that is going to happen overnight. 
So this is a universal theme. This is a major arcana. So this is more, it holds more weight in your life, okay? So it's a more universal theme. It is something that is like, that is a cycle that could happen over and over until it, the lesson that we have learned comes to completion. So um, we've got amazing, amazing, um, amazing cards here for a Saturday versus, um, you know, versus this fear. So maybe this is fear of, like I said, maybe, maybe, maybe you're like, holy shit, maybe you actually met someone and there's a potential that you're, that you're like, I, I think that person might be the one. Okay. So there's a potential for that. Okay. With these cards. Okay. Sunday, give me some more information about this work, please. Okay. We have the King of Wands. Please, more information about work on Sunday. I really feel that that is, okay. We've got the Knight of Cups. Give me more information about this work. What is the work on Sunday? Ah, okay. So um, this is all about reminiscing. This could be about giving and receiving. The King of Wands, the energy I really feel about this is father energy. Somebody who's very charismatic. Someone who um, really just like, is very, um, how would I like to say it? He's very theatrical, you know, he's like the, the actor, the one that doesn't have, he doesn't have like a very, um, what's the term that I'm looking for? He doesn't have like a very normal job, you know, this is someone who is doing all the, you know, very artistic and creative, he knows exactly who he is and what he wants and he goes after it. And, you know, there's no, he doesn't take no for an answer. So um, I really, really like this. He's very, very creative. Okay. So I really am really picking up father energy with that. I just kind of, you know, I just thought that was kind of cool that the father energy is coming out as that. But this could also, for some of us, like if literally we're being called into work or we're doing some type of work, okay, on Sunday, whatever that that work exactly means for you then I feel like there's a potential that we need those qualities. We need to step into that energy of, you know, being that passionate person and, and really allowing, harnessing the, um, the energy of the, the wands, which is the creativity and your inspiration and you're using your intuition and stepping in and knowing exactly what you want and implementing that into your work. Okay. Now the six of cups, I always get the six of cups. I think about the six of cups about someone coming back from the past. Okay. This doesn't necessarily mean that somebody is coming back from the past. However, this is a general reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay. This is of an emotional nature. This could be an exchange of memories. Okay. Nostalgia and, you know, reminiscing about the past. So maybe you and your dad are shooting the shit about, you know, some awesome, you know, times that you really had in the past and you're having this really amazing reminiscing type of conversation, you know? So this isn't necessarily a bad thing. It doesn't mean that somebody's going to come haunt you from the past, okay? Um, but like I said, it is general reading. So, you know, there could be potentially that someone does come back from the past, you know, maybe you don't really have a very good relationship with your dad. And so maybe your dad comes to visit you on Father's Day. Wouldn't that be interesting? You know, so this is about sharing emotions and memories and an exchange of beautiful feelings and conversation in our relationships and giving and receiving with other people. But also, like I said, um, the feeling of, you know, memories and certain people in your life and how and what they mean to you, you know. So we have the Knight of Cups here. And so this is just confirming because we have two water cards here, okay? So Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups is the, you know, the person, he's he's the lover's card. He's the one that comes with the offer of love. Oh, I love you, okay? So, you know, this could be you, okay? This energy could be you. This could be the way the other person responds. This could be, you know, like I said, you and your father. You've got the King of Wands and the Knight of Cups and having this beautiful exchange, beautiful, you know, ideas of, you know, reminiscing about the past and having these, you know, um, you know, just being open, just being open with your thoughts, your feelings, your feelings and your emotions and really explaining how you feel no matter what that that is. And I really do feel like this is positive. OK, so this is very, very positive. I would like to pull. Uh, what do I want to use? OK, well, we're using the fairy deck again. All right. Any last messages for this weekend, Saturday and Sunday? 
any last messages for those of you watching this video any last messages overall for this week on the 19th and the 20th of june 2021 please any last messages any last messages any last messages any last messages for this weekend any last messages for this weekend please oh what have we forgotten here oh, you gotta be shitting me this is the third time i have pulled this card and I know that none of you would know that, but this is the third time that I have pulled this card. <laughs> so I'm telling you, there is someone here that is watching this video that is doing some kinds of spiritual work, okay, this weekend, that has me watching this video. Now, let me read this to you. This is all about protection, okay? This says... The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. Okay, so listen, if any of you are doing this type of work, if any of you are doing something specific this weekend involving spirits and and or a retreat, or you're going to be around a lot of people. This is energetic protection. This is calling in Archangel Michael on all layers and levels, putting you in a protective bubble of high, vib high vibrational white light to protect your energy, protect your space, to not allow anything to come into your aura that is not for your most highest and best good, all time, space, and dimension. Okay, so you can rewatch that. You can write that down. Whatever is happening this weekend, make sure that you protect yourself. Now, there could be other kinds of protection that we're talking about, okay? So, you know, but this is how this card is coming across, okay? So this is messed up that it is the third time. And like I said, I know that you wouldn't know that it is the third time, but it is the third time. So third time is the charm. This is super, 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 super important, okay? Because I really feel there is somebody here that's gonna be watching this. It's like, oh yeah, whatever, I don't need protection. Okay, no, I'm telling you, whoever you are, leave me a comment and let me know what the hell you're doing this weekend because you need to protect yourself energetically. I don't mean to be, you know, coming off like, a, oh my God, what the hell is she saying? Is something bad gonna happen to me? Listen, you know, everything is energy and um, not everyone has our highest and best interest at all times, okay? So, when it comes to energy, we all have a certain, you know, frequency and vibration that we are setting out to the world and you don't know other people's intentions. I'm not trying to say that there's somebody around you that doesn't have good intent for you. I am saying that, you know, there, whoever's watching this and if this resonates with you with whatever work or something that you're doing this weekend, please set energetic boundaries for your most highest and best good and just be careful. Okay, so that is my disclaimer end of rant okay moving on manifestation be very honest and clear about you wish to man about what you wish to manifest in your life now write it down on paper manifestation step one so this is writing like down your goals and your dreams okay essentially yes this is manifestation these are intentions as well okay so um we are going to be having a full moon next week on, I believe, Thursday is what my calendar says, but sometimes that calendar is wrong. So we do have a full moon next week. So this is releasing things. So maybe this is this is just a prompt to say, hey, you know, this weekend, if you're hanging around, if you got some time, um, this is really about setting intentions. And I really feel like this energy on Saturday with this fear of like, oh my gosh, I'm not really sure what's happening. It's almost as if... Um, you know, maybe this just gives you the vibe or or you just have like butterflies in your stomach and you're sort of wanting to set intentions around, around cultivating and creating a beautiful, happy home, you know, um, you know, emotionally, emotional happiness in some way, shape or form and, and you know, setting intentions for that to finding the right person, you know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So with that being said, I'm going to end it there. My beautiful people, um, have a beautiful, safe weekend. Um, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video, okay? So if you're looking for more of me, you can check me out at livingbyspirit.com. Uh, you can book a reading with me. You can check out my new brand new crystal bracelets, my vortex jewelry here. I live in Sedona, Arizona. So I actually go to specific vortexes and I create the um, actual necklace in the vortex 
by tapping into your energy and sitting with the crystals and seeing exactly which crystals you need and how many of them specifically for you in your life. So if that sounds of something of interest to you, I would love to do that for you. You can check me out at livingbyspirit.com. Otherwise, I will see you all on the next video. So thank you so much for allowing me to do this work. Much love and light always. Namaste. Bye for now.